Cable management sucks. I think that's something we can all agree on. And today we're taking a look at a desk that solves this awful problem that we all deal with in our setups with such a simple and elegant solution. What's going on guys, it's Brainbean here again. And today we're taking a look at the Secret Lab Magnus Magnetic Modular Desk. I think it's pretty cool. I think you guys will too. Let's check it out. So starting with the assembly process, the packaging, something I usually touch on with Secret Lab's chairs in particular because Secret Lab has some of the best just overall packaging and tools in the game. I mean, when you open this thing up, the quality is already apparent because every component is individually packaged in its own recessed foam packaging, very similar to like a Pelican case or something. So all the legs, all the different pieces are really well protected, which just gives you that feeling that you're getting a quality product and not a bunch of crap just thrown in a box. And same with the tools. So they give you actual handles on the tools with different bits that you can interchange out of them. So none of these crappy, cheap metal IKEA type tools that are gonna rip your hands to shreds. And I also like that you can use your own drill and pop those bits in there and make it even easier. And so I really like that Secret Lab has the user experience in mind there. I was able to put this together by myself in about 15 minutes. It goes together very easily. Just keep in mind that it weighs just under 100 pounds, so I do recommend having another set of hands available to you if you can. It'll just make your experience that much better. Now this is because of its steel frame construction. It's pretty much entirely made out of steel, which combined with the strict manufacturing tolerances that Secret Lab has, makes for a super rock solid finished product. For example, sliding the legs into the desk frame itself is like a perfect fit, slides right in. So even though Secret Lab went with a very sleek and kind of minimalistic look to this desk, and it does look like it's on the thinner side, it is incredibly sturdy. But let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. It's not a sit-stand desk, which is the first question I asked myself and judging by the reaction to this desk on the internet is also pretty much everybody else's first question. Now, Secret Lab's response to this is they feel like there's already a ton of options for sit-stand desks on the market, and they wanted to focus on the modularity aspect and being able to deliver a premium experience. Now, as somebody who's reviewed even on this channel many different sit-stand desks, some of them in the plus thousand dollar range, I can tell you that Typically a sit-stand desk does have some kind of compromise in some area, whether it's the ease of cable management, how sturdy the desk is, or just the overall size that you can actually fit within how much it can raise and lower. And also when we factor in the fact that this desk is 100 pounds, I mean, it's gonna require some serious power to lift that desk. And I do kind of understand why Secret Lab would want to be able to really ensure the quality of the user experience by not having those different issues be a factor and instead focus on how well they can do the modularity and things with the cable management without lifting and lowering the desk becoming a potential issue. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the desk is designed to pair ideally with Secret Labs chairs. The thin desktop makes for more room for the armrests and overall it just fits their chair like a glove. Now that being said, there's no reason why it wouldn't fit well with pretty much any other chair out there. And speaking of the desktop, and, and the reason it's thin, and by thin I say it's about an inch thick or so, it's not entirely solid steel like the rest of the desk frame, obviously, because a piece of metal that big would be like a thousand plus pounds, if not more, probably. So it's a chipboard or some kind of wood that's wrapped in a metal shell around it. Now, that being said, there's no separation between those two materials. So if you push on the top of the desk, you don't have warping or flexing or anything like that. And by all accounts, I mean, it feels really, really solid. I don't love that it's a metal top to the desk because it feels cold to use. Kind of gives you like a prison-y vibe if you use it without the included polyurethane desk mat. So that brings us to my other slight gripe with the desk is, again, they give you this magnetic polyurethane desk mat, which is basically the same material that Secret Labs chairs are wrapped in. So it does feel like a premium leatherette style material, very rugged, very sturdy but I just don't love the idea of having wall-to-wall -wall leather on the top of my desk, if that makes sense. Kind of gives me like a Buffalo Bill vibe a little bit. And I feel like, I just don't know how well this is gonna hold up, especially I feel like for denting, like if you were to put a heavy desktop on it or clamp some monitor arms on it and wanna move them later, I do feel like you're gonna get indentions in there. And I'm not quite sure, you know, with years of use on this desk mat, how well that leather's gonna hold up to constant rubbing from your wrists or your arms or spilled drinks and food and stuff like that. So a little bit of a concern there. 
applying the desk mat is kind of a pain in the butt because you have to roll it down over the desk and it's an incredibly strong magnet. So you have to line it up perfect because there's no sliding or moving this thing around once it's on, which is a plus compared to like a rubber mouse mat that goes on your desk because it could slide and shift over time. This thing's not going anywhere, but it does make putting it on kind of a pain. Now you can get other colorways on this. Right now there's only three, but if Secret Labs finishes are any indication, there's gonna be a lot more different options coming down the line. You can get one for 50 bucks, so if it did start to wear out, you could replace it. Another thing I don't love about the desk mat is the heavy-handed Secret Lab logos on it. There's two big ones in the front corners. You've got the Magnus one in big letters and then just the traditional Secret Lab. I don't think they necessarily needed both because I know what desk I bought, you know, and, and I get it on the chairs maybe for streamers and stuff for branding advertisement. But you just don't need it on your desktop. Now let's talk about the worst part about any desk setup. Say it with me. Cable management. Yes, cable management sucks and it's something we all have to deal with. And I think Secret Labs come up with a very elegant solution for this. The entire concept of the Magnus desk is meant to make your cable management a very fluid, easy, modular experience. What I really like here though is the design of the skeleton of the desk. And if we look at it, you can see that the tabletop itself is sitting about an inch above the skeleton. There's this little gap there. That's designed to be a cable channel to make routing cables under and around the sides of the desk, through the middle of the desk, that much easier. And again, this goes back to the modular aspect, the ease of cable management theory behind this desk. And the Magnus being all steel, is designed to work with all these different magnetic accessories that Secret Lab has. So we have cable sheets that magnetically stick to anywhere on the desk. And again, this is all set to the same measurements as the sheets for all parts of the skeleton. So you can put it under the desk, you can put it on the legs, you can put it on the sides, anywhere you want. And the coolest thing about this is it just makes it that much easier to swap cables out without having to undo zip ties or different sticky things or you know, different solutions like that. And as a reviewer, this is something I deal with all the time because I'm always swapping out different keyboards and, and things like that. And that's honestly why my setup normally looks like spaghetti because it's a pain in the ass to swap out all these different cables. And by having this easy, just pop off the magnet, slap it on, boom, it's so much easier. And these magnets, all the different magnetic components are really, really strong. I mean, you have to physically pry them off to get them to pop off. No cheap little falling off things here. If we look at the back of the desktop, you can see this gap, what's designed to be sort of a desk long grommet system to allow for your cables to come up. The back flips up on a hinge to reveal a very large cable tray underneath the desk. And it also has a flip out window underneath the desk, kind of by where your knees are gonna go. Now this desk space is about three quarters of an inch wide, so it will fit most monitor arms that will clamp onto the desk and still be able to close that hinge down as well as most cables. So just keep that in mind. I mean, my rather large monitor arms I measured because I was a bit skeptical and they're not even half that. So I think it will safely accommodate just about any arm that you would want to clamp onto this thing. Now, there's lots of magnetic accessories that you can use like a magnetic RGB strip for 60 bucks, which functions independent of software and has a remote with seven preset colors and four custom lighting modes if you want a little bit of underglow there, or you could put it behind the desk. There's a cable management kit for 45 bucks, which I definitely recommend if you pick up one of these. That gives you three cable anchors, 10 straps, and two magnetic cable sheets. Now currently the desk is only available in a single colorway, which is what you see in this video. I do think it would be cool to have like a white option down the line. And even though there's the three changeable desk mats right now, I think we can almost definitely assume that Secret Lab will have other ones in the future. You can get the desk currently in two different sizes. There's a 47 inch width that's 1.2 meters at 399 bucks. There's also a 59 inch width, which is a meter and a half. You can get that one for 450 bucks and then just factor in whichever different magnetic accessories you wanna add on top of that. And I do highly recommend the cable management kits and accessories because I do think they're pretty reasonably priced when you consider that you can use them indefinitely opposed to something like zip ties or 3M tape or Velcro or different stuff that wears out and gets gross over time. So I do think it's actually pretty reasonably priced in that regard. Overall, I think the Magnus is a massive win for Secret Lab. I think it legitimately solves real problems that we have in our daily use as PC gamers, especially just the ease of cable management cannot be understated here. And the modular aspect of it, being able to easily swap things out around without having to undo zip ties or take off sticky or all these different things is really, really nice. 
Now, the only things I really don't like about it is the lack of sit-stand capability. I think that's definitely gonna turn some people off. And also the polyurethane magnetic desk mat situation. I just don't necessarily love the feel of it. I do think it would be cool if they offered other versions that were like your typical soft mouse mat with the magnetic underneath it, or maybe like a faux wood piece that you could slap on there. I think that would be a pretty cool addition. Uh, but other than that, I think, I mean, it's a super rock solid desk. It makes cable management a snap and a real, real joy to use. And the fact that this thing is all steel and so heavy, I mean, I imagine this desk is gonna last you literally forever. So in that sense, I think if you are looking for a nice new elegant desk solution and you have lots of cables to manage and you just want it to look as clean as possible, the Magnus is definitely gonna get you where you wanna go. Now, if you are interested in one of these desks, you wanna get your hands on one, I highly recommend pre-ordering it ASAP. Currently, you can pre-order them on their website and they were a little bit delayed, I think, due to kind of the shipping crisis going on in the world right now, as well as just COVID stuff. So um, I think they're supposed to ship in August, but if you do wanna get one, definitely jump on that as quickly as you can. I have seen some stuff uh, already selling out over there. So I'll have links on where you can check that out down in the description below. But anyways, guys, that's it for the review. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Magnus or what you would change or you know what features you think might make this better in the future. Because I know Secret Labs probably got their eyes on the next iteration and judging by the community response, I wouldn't be surprised if we see their next desk feature sit stand, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, guys, if you made it this far into the video, I'd love to see you subscribe. I've got lots more videos coming for you in the near future. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Take care of each other, and I will see you in the next one.